Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, if you're watching this video, you've experienced the dreaded CSGO pack file error. Um, as you can see, I have the image of what it looks like. Um, I'm not, I don't speak German, this isn't my account. Um, the reason why I have this image is because there's a key point that I want to show you. Now, what most people are going to do to teach you how to fix the problem is going to teach you to go into Steam, find Counter-Strike CSGO, right click, go to properties, um, then go to local files and verify integrity of game cache. Now, when you do this, uh, it's going to take a lot of time. Unless you have blazingly fast internet, it's going to take more time than the three minute um, countdown for the competitive cooldown. So if you get this error in competitive, you hit the verify integrity game cage, most people are not going to make it in time. And that's a big, big problem, especially for people like me or others that I know that get the, the file error a lot, of, a lot of the time. Now the reason why this error happens is because usually, and this is what it is most of the time, you have a bad module in your memory, in your RAM. So what happens is the file is taken into the RAM and it gets corrupted by the memory and then it saves it. It saves the file so that no matter whether you're shut down in the computer or whatever, it's not going to fix it. The only way you can fix it is by verifying integrity of game cache, which is usually going to take longer than three minutes for most people. I have 50 download speed internet and I still can't get in time. So what I'm going to teach you today is going to fix that. It's going to fix the problem with, count, um, with Counter-Strike. But seeing you have the problem now, I can't help you escape the timer now if you're you know, doing this during a competitive. I can't help you escape it, but this will stop it for next time. What you're going to do is similar to everybody else's video. If you have the error, you're going to hit verify integrity of game cache. Okay? I'm going to hit cancel because I don't need to do it. Um, but if you hit verify integrity of game cache, it's going to take three minutes around there may take longer for you. If it takes quicker, then jump into that game um, and get back in there and you won't need to watch the rest of the video. However, if you have slower internet speeds or 50 and less, um, I'm going to show you how to fix it. What you're going to want to do is once you verify the integrity of your game cage, you're going to you know exit out of this and you're going to go to your computer. You're going to go into your computer and you're going to go into your local disk C. You're going to go into program files times 86 or program files if you're not up to 64 bit yet, which I don't know why you wouldn't be, but hey, maybe you don't. Um, then you're going to go to Steam and then you're going to go into Steam apps. You're going to go into Steam apps and then you're going to go into common. After you go to common, you're going to go into Counter-Strike Global Offensive. After that, you're going to click on CSGO. Now here's what you got to do. What you're going to want to do is first right click and hit new folder. And you're going to name it PAK like I did here or whatever you want to name it. It doesn't really matter. Um, you name it PAK, okay? And uh, so let's say pack. Um, I'm going to just put a two next to mine. Don't, you don't have to do that. That's just because I have a second one and I'm going to delete this one after the video. Um, so pack two. What you're going to then do is once you had verified the game cage, you're going to come down here and you're going to see all the pack files. You're going to click the first one and then go all the way down to the last one, hold shift and click it. Now you have all of them. Um, two things you can do. You can drag up and you know drag them and put them in the file, the folder. Or what you can do is control C. Control C, you know, copy it, and then you're going to go up into your pack file and paste them in, okay? And they're going to go in. It's going to take about, depending on your computer, anywhere from a couple minutes to, you know, 10, 20 minutes. It depends on how good your computer is, a couple seconds if you have a, you know, solid state drive. Now, here's what happens. You're in game the next time it happens, um, and you get the file error. Now this is why I picked this image. You're going to look at the, the error that you get and it's key to get this. You need to find which one is wrong because if you have a slower computer, if you copy all, copy all the files back into there, if you select all these and then copy them back into here, it's going to take longer than three minutes as well. So what you have to do is you have to find the number. Find 01 and then whatever number it gave you. You want to look that up in the file. Okay? And I'm going to just cancel this right now because I don't need to do that. I already have it in my file. So you want to make sure you have a file, a pack file that looks like this. And here's all the pack files. So in this case, it was 13 for the guy. So you're going to want to find 13. You're going to hit Control C, copy it, and then right click here and just hit paste. You're going to paste it in and it's going to say copy and replace. You're going to hit copy and replace and OK. Or copy, yeah, just copy and replace and it'll go in. Um, that will fix the file immediately. It takes a couple of seconds for it to go in, and boom, bada bing, you're back in the game, not getting the cooldown. Important, 
Very, very important. Every time the game updates, and you have to look out for this, when the game updates, um, if you have auto updates set up for it, turn them off. Um, make sure that you know when the updates happen. When the updates happen for the game, you have to copy all these files again from the bottom here, all the pack files. <clears throat> all the pack files and copy them back into this folder. So what I do is I just select all these these old ones and I'll delete them and then just move the new ones in there. You have to do that every time you update because every time you update the files change. All right, so that is how you fix the pack file um, pack file area error the quickest way to legitimately get rid of it forever. You have to get new RAM and that will fix it. Uh, you can do a memory test on your RAM, see if you have to do a bad module, but I'm guaranteeing you already know you have a memory problem or you you get blue screens a lot and the reason you're getting blue screens a lot is probably because of the RAM error. I'm going to actually pause up and look at the RAM error that you're going to get on blue screen. Hold on one second. Alright, so here's the blue screen you're probably common to see which also shows you that you actually have a memory error. You'll get this blue screen a lot. It happens to all of us who get this pack file error every once in a while. Next time you get a blue screen, make sure to look at it. Um, if it's 0x00001a, if it's ending with 1a there, then it's a memory error. So you have to find out what memory or what piece of RAM you have that's corrupted or damaged and replace it to get rid of the C CSGO pack error completely. However, if you want the quick workaround, really quick fix, and you don't want to go out and buy a new stick of RAM, and you want to fix it quicker than the Verify and um, Game Cache, that's how you do it. So guys, hopefully I helped you. Um, please make sure to uh, like the video. Um, it took me a lot of work to actually put this video up because I'm kind of lazy and didn't want to do that, but I've seen so many people that have had this problem that don't know how to fix it in a quick way to get back into competitive without getting a cooldown. So that's how you do it. Thanks, guys. Talk to you guys later. Bye.